The world's gathered at our doorstep. Cybersecurity's never been more important. We say that every year, but there have been a couple of dramatic things. What do you think the first big focus that's unique to this year will be? I think this year's so security analytics is probably going to be where people are spending a lot of time. Security as, analytics is what? Is trying to understand and gain a greater uh, sense of what's going on internally to your organization. Start looking at how you can basically try to take away some staff. Because the idea is you don't have enough people to monitor all the alerts. And so if you can take that information, run so, some sort of algorithms against it, it's going to enable you to actually determine what is worth focusing and what is just you know, a false positive. How is it different than what was done in the past? Because in the past, there hasn't been enough data systems that can actually handle the load of data. Because what's happening with cyber is there's so much information coming across the wire, and that's internal in an enterprise, that people have struggled to actually pull it together in one place before. So a, like a denial of service attack was, by definition, just a, someone bombarding servers. So maybe they could keep it at bay yes. as security, but they couldn't try to understand it. Now yes. they can try to understand it? Exactly. So let me contrast the two. That's brute fo force. It still works for, the, you know, especially if it's done by a lot of systems. But now the way that people are getting in is they go in, they do a spear fish, they gain your credentials. And then what they do with that information is they, they look to escalate privileges and move around internally in a network. The hard part is actually determining who that individual is. So we in saw that with Target. Years. I'm sorry, I keep interrupting you, but... We're friends. I know you all the time. Uh, the, so, uh, Target that happened, right? Where someone got credentials to get in. That's exactly right. But they didn't just barge in the front door and take everything. They sort of snuck in, uh, looked around, got control of more systems, and that's when the big uh, data theft happened. That's exactly right, because what they're doing, they're basically doing reconnaissance. They're trying to determine where are the crown jewels of the operation, when are we going to be less detected, is there a certain time of day where they, they don't have the right you know, people on duty, and are there certain things that we should do to mask our behavior as we leave? So do we encrypt when we take information out? All right, second point, what are the, what are the, what are the other big points? The other one would be threat intelligence. I think people are very, very focused on understanding what is happening to other institutions. The example is, do, are the banks seeing the same side of threat coming across the wire? Are the energy sector seeing the same kind of threat? Because the reality is that every threat is actually unique, and people are now trying to actually take that information, pull it together, and then enhance each other's defenses. It's kind of collective defense. Well, let me ask you last about this. Uh, uh, this notion that when the company gets attacked, they should open the kimono and share what happened so the intelligence community can get, get everyone can learn from it. Mm. Is there tension about that, uh, that approach? I mean, I, I think that that's seen as best practices, but we don't see it. And I wonder if there are smart, uh, thoughtful people who have decided, you know what, we're not going to do that because that introduces a different kind of risk. I think there's two things there. One is, you know, yesterday I was with somebody that said, you know, the expectation is still you share everything and the government shares nothing. I think that the truth there is that the government pro may not know as much as the private sector thinks. And I think the second is the private sector is still waiting for appropriate protections. The, the big thing is still liability protection to enable them to Which share. Which the White House has offered a, a little bit. Correct. I mean, what they're trying to do is incentivize the private sector to share more. But I think the reality of what is happening, and I think this is very important, is that people continue to actually help each other out. Because in cybersecurity, you know, it's not really a competitive advantage. What it is is you don't want your competitors to have a big breach because inevitably that, that actually does affect you at one, one day or the other.